What's going on guys? It's Greg. I just wanted to do a uh, quick review of the EcoTest Therapy Radiation Dosimeter. The company EcoTest is out of Ukraine. I bought this dosimeter two years ago and I was able to actually keep the original batteries for a year and a half and it only drained half the batteries. Um, but you can see it's in Ukraine. They have a phone number here. Say you can contact them at sales at ecotest.ua. Um, you know, helps to avoid radiation hazard in everyday life. So comes came with a nice instruction booklet. Um, they have a lot of different products now. Actually, they this they were a small company when I first bought this. Now they have different all kinds of radiation dosimeters if you go on their website ecotest they have a lot of cool stuff if you're into if you're into radiation and and you know protecting yourself from radiation it's like a playground you know it's like it's like a candy store you know if you go to their website they have so many cool gadgets for for detecting radiation they have they have a lot of cool stuff so i recommend you check their website out at ecotest you may find something that you like um if you're a prepper you know, or you you just want to be ready for something, then they also have a lot of cool stuff for everyday carry. They have like a, a watch that you can buy that detects radiation, um, you know, so you can wear that when you're in the city. So this came with a nice case here. It has a, a, a belt clip. It's like a steel. It's very thick. This is like a nice, very rigid steel, you know. You can hear it when I let it go. It's a very rigid steel. I'm going to take it out of the case for you guys, but it works in the case. I can push the buttons. You know, I can read everything here, but I'll just take the case out so I can show you the, the meter better. Um, so, let's see. So I just turned it on now. It measures in microsieverts per hour. So right now we're at 0.15, which is still normal background radiation. Um, see here on the back. Whoops. I'm trying to see if I could focus the camera, but the letters are really small, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Um, maybe a little tricky here. But basically the measurement range is... Uh, it measures up to, let's see, it measures up to one, it measures up to one millisievert per hour. So, or 999.9 microsieverts per hour is the, is the, uh, is the measurement range. So, you know, this, um, this, this is basically, uh, good for measuring lower lower levels of radiation you know if, if you're going to be like doing decontamination procedures for like a government agency after a nuclear attack you're probably not going to want this because it's going to the radiation levels are going to be so high that this is going to be you know spiking through the roof but this is perfect as an everyday carry radiation dosimeter that's what i have it for um, i also have it just to monitor radiation at my house i keep it on my nightstand you can pop this cover off here, and, and if you want to detect beta radiation, you pop this cover off and, and it exposes the, uh, the Geiger tube, and it'll, it'll, uh, it'll read beta radiation as well as it's more sensitive. Um, here is just the battery compartment. It takes two AAA batteries. The batteries last a very long time. The original batteries that I had for this lasted a year and a half, and it only took down... You see in over here it has four bars, that means the battery power is full. So I had two batteries in there, two AAA batteries, and over a year and a half, it only went down to two bars. So that's pretty incredible. Um, and I was using this pretty pretty often too. I mean, I took it with me overseas. When I went to Europe, I took it with me. I was measuring radiation there. Um, I turned it on periodically just to, you know, see what's, you know, what the radiation is. Um, so this is a very good thing for a prepper because 
you know you don't have to worry about replacing batteries very often it's very it's very uh, user friendly and I'll explain to you why it's very user friendly so first I'm just gonna explain uh, basically it just has this clicking noise you know as there's if there's higher radiation it clicks more and more um, and then what you can do is you can set a threshold here if you hold this button down I can set a threshold so once what the threshold does for me is I can set a certain uh, measurement in microsieverts per hour and once the radiation crosses the threshold is going to be a really loud alarm it goes like I don't want to really I wish I had some radiation sources around me that I could show you guys but I don't really keep anything like that so um, you know basically it's just like a really loud beeping noise it's like you know almost like a you know almost like a like a like a smoke detector alarm you know it's very loud um, so you can set the threshold level anything you want up to up to one millisievert per hour which is that's very high you know you generally you know that's a very high dose you know anything anything over 30 microsieverts per hour or I'm sorry point 30 microsieverts per hour um, is gonna be unnatural so we're at 0.14 microsieverts per hour which is typically that's like a natural background radiation um, anything over 0.30 is is unnatural there's some type of source that's that's causing the radiation to go higher um, so like for me I typically have mine set lower the threshold you know just because I have it uh, for emergency purposes um, if I if there's a radiation spike I want to I want to know be notified of it I keep this on my nightstand and I have the threshold set at 0.30 microsieverts per hour so when the radiation goes above that you know which happened a few times you know uh, it woke me up I uh, I live near a nuclear plant not too far from a nuclear plant so I suspect that maybe there was like a release or something but um, you know once the th radiation goes over the threshold the, the 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 meter will turn on and start monitoring and it'll also sound the alarm now this also has a hibernate feature as you see the, the it just shut off now um, so basically if you're not using it it hibernates so you there's no off button the only way to turn this off is to take the batteries out this basically this meter is constantly on it's constantly measuring the dose you know even when the meter is off and you're not monitoring like right now it's still it's still measuring uh, it's still measuring your accumulated dose which is good you know you don't have to have the meter on for it to measure the accumulated dose so that's very good for you know just being able to know what kind of radiation dosages you're receiving especially in an emergency a nuclear emergency you're gonna wanna be able to measure your accumulated dose and the way it you know if you wanna reset your accumulated dose you have to take the batteries out and reset the that's the only way to reset it but I'll turn it on again and I'll go through the modes real quickly so you can see so this is the if you want to monitor with it and you want to see what's what's the, the the around the area you know if you want to measure something you just touch the mode button and it'll turn it on it'll bring it out of hibernation if you touch it again that's my accumulated um, accumulated dose ever since I put the batteries in um, it's 81 millisieverts um, so it's you know it's pretty normal um next so this is your this is your dosimeter this is measuring and and this does you don't have to have the the meter doesn't have to be on doesn't have to be out of hibernation to measure this it's constantly monitoring your dose so that's a very good battery saving feature especially for a prepper or you know even just for everyday use you know it's very good on batteries it's very efficient um so then the next mode is just uh your clock um and then the next mode you can set yourself an alarm so you know so that's basically it it's a very simple device um, the Geiger tube is in here like I said you can pop it off I'm not gonna do that now because um, it's just kind of a pain you gotta get like a little screwdriver or some type of the thing to get in there but you know basically it's it's a very good device I highly recommend this for a prepper um, for everyday carry you know I keep it mostly on my nightstand um i don't really drive anywhere right now into like cities or anything um 
So I usually don't take it with me because I'm not really traveling far from home usually. I'm not really too worried about it. But when I do travel far from home, you know, let's say if I go more than like 20 or 30 miles, I always bring this with me because I want to know if something's going down. If there's a nuclear emergency in my area, like I said, I have a nuclear power plant not too far away. You know, I have a major, major nuclear power plant about 30 miles away from my house. So, um, you know, that's not that far, you know. Um, so I always take this with me. Plus, I'm not too far from New York City. You know, I'm pretty far, but I'm still close enough that if there was like a, a nuclear bomb or something, I would, you know, I would get fallout up here. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, it's good to have, you know, and, and this case, it's a nice case. It comes with it. So, you know, I highly recommend it for the prepper and, and for anybody that wants to, you know, it's also good as a, as a hobby. Sometimes I'll take this thing out and I'll just go around, me you know, measuring radiation around my area, see, you know, what the levels are. Um, it's definitely very good to have, you know, in my nuclear attack survival skills videos, I talk about in uh, part six, I talk about the importance of why you want to have a dosimeter and a detector. Um, it's, it's very critical. In a nuclear emergency, you want to have a way of measuring your, your, you want to be able to detect the radiation levels around you, and you also want to measure your accumulated dose. You want to know how much radiation you're taking in because that's critical. You know, especially if you're in a shelter, let's say you, you, you're in a fallout shelter or you build yourself an improvised shelter to protect yourself from fallout. At some point, you're going to want to go out of your shelter to check and see, you know, what the levels are, if it's safe to come out yet. You know, or, um, you know, you may have to leave your shelter to resupply on food, you know. If you have an improvised shelter in your basement that you made, you know, you're going to have to go at some point, you know, you're going to have to go and get more food or get water or something. You know, you may have to go and use the bathroom, um, you know, once a day. So you're going to want to know what the levels are, what the radiation levels are, you know. So, uh, you know, that, that's why it's good to have a dosimeter. And also as an everyday carry, if you work in a big city, you know, or you work far away from home, you're going to want to have this with you because let's say, God forbid, you know, there's a, a terrorist incident, you know, or if there's a nuclear attack or if there's, um, you know, um, a nuclear power plant emergency, um, you're going to want to be able to measure the radiation around you at all times because these days you never know, you know, there's terrorists could smuggle a weapon, they could build a weapon, they could build, you know, a dirty bomb, they could bring an illicit weapon, they could create a crude, a crude nuclear missile using enriched uranium and they could smuggle it on a U-Haul truck and detonate it somewhere in a city. Um, you know, so these days you always want to have a way of measuring what's around you because it, radiation is invisible you know you can't see it you can't smell it you can't you know taste it you can't hear it the only way is to measure it with the geiger counter you know and a dosimeter so definitely good to have one of these it's also good if you want to just check the radiation levels around your house you know if you're concerned that you may live you know near some radioactive areas or you know you can also measure food with this if you're worried about contaminated food like fish you know from the pacific um, because of the Fukushima incident, um, you know, it's definitely good to have. The Ukrainians know a lot about radiation. I mean, they had the Chernobyl incident, so they, they know a lot about radiation. This company is one of the best out there. I highly recommend this company. All their, all their uh, equipment is, is, is high quality, and, and it's, it has a very, uh, it's designed for field use. You know, a lot of these dosimeters that you buy, they're not rugged, you know, they're not made for like everyday use or for using it in the field. But Ecotest makes a lot of their meters for the Ukrainian military and Ukrainian public safety. So, you know, they, uh, they're a little more rugged and they're more user friendly. They're more built more for like common sense use, you know, more for the everyday person. So uh, let me just give you guys a quick measurement so you can see dimensions are four and three quarter inch it's four and three quarter inches long and two inches wide all right so thanks for watching i hope this video helped you out and uh please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching god bless stay safe take care